I would call upon those people that I think truly are progressive conservatives to step up and to let it be known that indeed having a, an agreement between the uh, Blaine Higgs and Chris Austin uh, leaders to be able to form a government uh, is something that they can't support. What has happened here is that Chris Austin has, has, has made a, a verbal commitment because he, he doesn't have anything from me because in, in, we have no deal. And he's made a verbal commitment that basically says, I won't bring the house down, but I believe we should support the government that won the most seats. Well, You've made no policy it. promises to him? No, I haven't. There, it, there, there, you see, there, there isn't a need to do that. In New Brunswick, political leaders are beginning to make their plays for power after Monday's election ended in a virtual stalemate. The PCs took 22 seats, the Liberals took 21. Today, the right-leaning People's Alliance, which won three seats, says it will support the PCs. But Liberal leader Brian Gallant is calling on Tories who are unsettled by that agreement to cross the floor to his party. So what are the terms of the deal? Joining me now from Fredericton, the leader of the People's Alliance of New Brunswick, Chris Austin. Hi, Mr. Austin. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Great to be here. Thank you. What did you agree to with the PCs? What we have is an informal uh, understanding between myself and Mr. Higgs that, uh, frankly, New Brunswickers do not want another election. Uh, they want government to parties to work together to have a stable government, and uh, that's what we've uh, we've come to the understanding of. What is an informal understanding? What are the terms of that agreement? Well, that's just it. There, it it's a mutual respect. It's it's basically saying that uh, Mr. Higgs does not operate. Uh, under a majority situation. I think he understands that as well as, you know, as a party that has won three seats, which, uh, you know, in, in essence controls the balance of power. Um, we understand too that th we have to, to give. It is a give and take. It's compromise, it's negotiation, and we've come to that agreement. So what are you willing to compromise on? And I'm, I'm asking because I, I'm, I'm sure you'd understand it if you were voting in New Brunswick and, and you voted for your party. I think right before the election you said we're at a tipping point where people are getting the reality that the Liberal and Conservative parties govern the same way. And now you're saying you're willing to support and prop up the Conservatives. Well, I wouldn't say prop up the Conservatives. I mean, the reality is the people of New Brunswick have given us this mandate. Uh, this is what the people have chosen. They have chosen a an agreement between you and the Conservatives? They chose a government that is stable as opposed to another election. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, and that's what we're willing to work towards. Um, you know, as far as any coalition or any formal written agreement, there's nothing. Uh, we are not going to be in anyone's back pocket. We're here for the people of New Brunswick, and we'll do it uh, bill by bill with the understanding that, uh, uh, you know, we New Brunswickers want a stable government. So what's an example of something that you would not support then? Because you're saying you're not going to, it's not, you know, writ large, you're going to support everything that the Conservatives do. So what is something that they could pursue that you would not support? That's completely hypothetical. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, well, I mean, but, but, but for, for people who voted for you, I think they're interested in knowing, you know, at what point do you bend? Well, we may not have to bend at all. I mean, we don't know. We haven't seen the throne speech. Uh, it's just too early to, to get into the, the, the details of any specifics because there's been no specifics given. Uh, this is going to be something where, again, Mr. Higgs is going to have to uh, work with us and uh, we are going to have to work with Mr. Higgs to find some common ground and move forward. Has he made any promises to you? Uh, to, to garner that support? No, no, this is our commitment to the people of New Brunswick. So there is nothing in this for you other than uh, seeing the desired stability and, and avoiding an election? Nothing? That's, cor that's correct. I just want to be clear and unequivocal. Yep. You have no, been promised correct. nothing. Nothing. Will you reconsider your position on October 5th if recounts change the landscape? Uh, I'm very doubtful that uh, anything will change in the recounts. However, if they do, we'll have to reevaluate all over again to see where we're at. So what is, what is it that drew you, I guess, then? Is it just that, that the Conservatives have one more seat than, than the Liberals, or is it do you feel more closely aligned politically with them? Well, Mr. Gallant closed the door on any uh, type of even mutual agreement uh, before the results of the election even came in. He made it very clear that he has no interest and he will not work with the People's Alliance. So he made that decision. Um, and when you look at the vote count, the reality is uh, we, are, we have a first-past-the-post system. Uh, Mr. Higgs did receive uh, more seats than Mr. Gallant, and that's the way the system works. I, I, I'm kind of baffled that Mr. Gallant is hanging on the way he is. Uh, I think he needs to resign, move on, and let, let New Brunswick go forward with a stable government. 
Are you willing to, in, in your informal agreement or understanding with the conservatives, abandon some of your more controversial policies, such as the one, for example, to eliminate bilingualism in uh, public services or government services, oh. pardon me? Okay, I do want to be clear about that. We've never called for the elimination of bilingualism in public services. So the, what exactly was the, what, what you called for then? Well, what we've called for is, is a more common sense approach to how we implement bilingualism in New Brunswick. Um, and you know when when we talk about you know going forward um, again we understand we only have three seats uh, we have to be reasonable just like mr. Higgs has to be reasonable so we'll do it on a case-by-case -case basis to see what he puts forward and uh, we look forward to working with him on each specific uh, legislation that that comes to the house mr. Gallant was encouraging progressive conservatives today to take you know you mentioned what he what he had said about not 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 aligning with your party he said he said today in his press conference you know take a hard look Progressives in the Progressive Conservative Party, uh, you should you should look long and hard at the possibility of this and and decide whether you know perhaps to come over to his party. What do you think mm -hmm. about that? Slimy politics, frankly, uh, Mr. Gallant. Again, you lost the election. It's time to resign. Uh, it's time to move on. Uh, you know, it's the will of the people. Um, this this you know reaching out to get people to walk the floor is just the slimy politics that makes people turn away from how politics is is done in government so you know what we are simply saying is look uh, we've been given this mandate by the people to work in a minority situation that's what we're, will, we're willing to do to provide that stability in government that the people expect us to, to provide with respect mr. Austin though I know you're saying that what he's saying is slimy politics do you think voters really voted for you thinking that you would be supporting the conservatives would they maybe think that that is slimy politics but this isn't a matter of supporting the conservatives this is where i think you know this is all wrong this is about working together this is this is a compromise it's negotiation um, it, it doesn't mean that we're abandoning our values no more than it means other parties are abandoning theirs but again but you're, you're 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 generally saying it's an understanding you're not offering specifics on you know what policies you will you you align on which ones you don't and I understand your your point that that probably will take place case by case but on the face of it I think people in New Brunswick could perceive this as you supporting the conservatives well look perception can be perception reality is uh, we've said uh, we're gonna do this on a case by case bill by bill basis uh, there's gonna be negotiations in the future as we go forward in governing um, there's going to be some things we're going to like, some things we're not going to like, and, and there's going to be, you know, we're, we're going to have to work together on that. Uh, what I'm convinced of at the end of the day is the people of New Brunswick do not want another election. We do not want another election, and we'll do everything we possibly can to, to make sure there's not another election, but on the contrary, that we have a good government going forward with all the parties working together. All right, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Mr. Austin. Really appreciate your time. Great. Thank you, Vashi.